What is happening, everybody? It is time for another Draw Reveal show. It's the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. It's the third of four in April. And as we always do, let's start with the ladies and ladies singles. And I've got my eye on this lady right here. One of the moms on tour, great player, strikes the ball so clean. Is this the week that Brooke Buckner makes a run? We'll find out. Let's look at the draw. And the big story here is the one seed. No Catherine, no Annalise. So a big opportunity again for Mary Brasha. She got upset by Samantha Parker, who was fantastic down in Houston. In her backyard, can Mary Brasha get it done? We'll find out. Also over here, I loved Amelia Schmidt, the Aussie earlier this year. Can she maybe pull a couple upsets and make a run? She is the 20 seed. Over here, the two, Leah Jansen. Welcome back to the winner's circle. She hadn't won since 2021. She won last week in Houston. She is a force to be reckoned with. Could she go back to back? You bet she can. Also over here, Jeannie Bouchard is back. She is going to be looking to keep winning. Yes, she beat Lauren Stratman in her last tournament. She wants to keep stacking wins, keep improving as she moves along. Lacey Schneeman was this close to making a final, but came up just short against the aforementioned Samantha Parker. And look who the 33 seed is. Lindsay Newman jumping into singles, see how she does. And then there's Brooke Buckner down at the bottom. So again, a different amount of competitors in here, but everyone's got a chance. Who's going to grab it? We'll find out. So that's the ladies. Here's the men. Yeah. Federico Staxrud is him. That's right. He is seven for seven. He's going for eight for eight, making the finals. He's won three of those, including last week in Houston. He played flawlessly against Kwong Duong. Let's see what he's going to be up against. At the top, Ben Johns had won three in a row that he had entered, and then Kwong Duong beat him. So he's going to have a revenge mission on his mind because guess what? Fed keeps separating himself from the field in the race in 2024 points. It's not even close right now. That's what making finals does for your ranking. Over here, Donald Young, the tennis player. What a run he had all the way to the semifinals. That's why what Fed's doing is so unbelievable because people keep coming out of the woodwork in deep seeds and getting all the way to quarters, semis, and even some finals. Jaume Martinez, Vic, you know he is going to put on a show as the five seed. And Gabe Joseph's right there again. They had a great battle in Houston. If they both win, we'll get that. It'll be fun to watch. On my left, there's Fed up at the top. Kwong Duong is lurking there, and man, is that youngster playing well. He is so fun to watch. And the doc, Colin Schick, right below him. So that is an early round potential matchup where one of the best singles players is going to be knocked out well before a semifinal. Down here on the left, then, we have a couple of lefties. Augie and Yvonne, we'll see how those two do. And can one of the lefties make a nice run through that? We'll find out. So men's singles has been fire all year long, except one guy has stepped up, and that is Fed. So that's singles. Let's take a look at mixed doubles. And no, this isn't a typo with the picture. Anna Bright and Ben Johns are playing together in Southern California. Are you kidding me? Can't wait to watch how this goes. Of course, they are the top seed. They are sitting up there at the top, and it is going to be a handful to beat them. Ben is coming off winning mixed doubles with Etta Wright down in Houston, and now the fiercest competitor of all jumps in with him, that being Anna Bright. Over here on the left, Jeannie Bouchard is playing with Sam Query. This sounds like a mixed doubles pairing at a tennis major. No. They're playing together right here. That is going to be so fun to keep an eye on how they do. Jesse Irvin, nice run in Houston. She's with Zane Navratil. And then Tina Pisnik. Let's just take a minute and 
think about all she has been doing. She's getting medals in women's doubles. She's made two mixed doubles finals in a row with Deckel Barr. And now she jumps in with Colin Johns. He's been working with her on her game. So student and teacher, how do they do as the eighth seed? That is going to be incredibly fun to watch. Can they mesh together as a team? Over here on the left, the two seed is Vivian David and Thomas Wilson. So consistent. Didn't make a podium, though, in Houston. They will be looking to get back up there out in Southern California. Hurricane Tyra Black and Augie Gah were awesome earlier in the year. Can they make a run? Their hands will be full because they'll run into David and Wilson early on. Lauren Stratman and Hayden Patrickwin is a very fun partnership, as is Etta Wright. She's got a gold medal for the first time in mixed doubles last week. Now she jumps in with that twoies of Connor Garnett's. So that's mixed doubles. Now let's look at men's and women's doubles. We always start with the ladies. And look at this fun team. Lucy Kovalova and Leia Jansen pairing up together. How will they fare and who will they play? Let's take a look. Start at the top. The girlies are wrecking everybody again. Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrabacher were fantastic in Houston. They've won three titles this year. They're the only team to beat Catherine and Anna Lee, who, again, not playing in this tournament. So they are the clear number one seed, and they are setting the standard in events where there is no AL. They are absolutely must-see TV. Also over here, you've got the Brashes. Why do I have them in red? Number one, they're a great team. Number two, they're playing on their home courts out there at Los Cab. This is a chance to thrill their fans. We'll see how they do. Jeannie Bouchard and Dom Schaefer are going to play a couple of the moms on tour, Brooke Buckner and Lena Padigameta. That is a fun early round match. On my left over here, there's Megan Dazan and Etta Wright. They are the two seed. They've had a very good year. Had a little hiccup in Houston. We'll see if they can keep it rolling. And look at Vivian David. Every week, it seems she brings another person into a final. Lacey Schneeman, Jackie Kawamoto, and this week, the youngster Emily Ackerman. How will that duo mesh? Can't wait to find out. The three seed is who I just showed you, Leah Jansen and Lucy Kovalova. And then the six seed, Lacey Schneeman, also from that part of the country. She's playing with Vivian Glosman. So some fun partnerships on here, new and old. Who is going to take a title? We shall see. And speaking of new pairings, look who we have on the men's side. Matt Wright and Thomas Wilson pairing up. That is going to be amazing. Matt Wright's played most of the year with James Ignatowicz. Hasn't had the results that he had wished for. He played one with Andre Dieskiu, and all they did was win. How will he do with Thomas Wilson? Let's look at the draw. And my goodness, the standard is the standard. And the Johns brothers, what they did to Pablo and Fed should put them in jail. They won a best of five, giving up only four points. Are you kidding me? They are going to be a handful all summer long. There's a good look as the three seed, Fed and Pablo. Great run to the final. They'd rather you didn't watch that match. And then the seven seed, Augie Gah, Connor Garnett. That is going to be fun. Lefty, righty, they are going to be very difficult to beat. Augie Gunn, now a full-time member of the PPA Tour, and that is great news for all of us pickleball fans. Over here on my left, up at the top, there's the two seed, Wilson and Wright. We'll see if they can get that chemistry early on as a new partnership. Then we have Tyson McGuffin and Jaume Martinez Vic playing together. I love this. Tyson helped Jaume as he was beginning his pro career. Jaume visited Tyson. They worked on his game, and man, is he a player on the rise. I love that team. And then we've got the Doc and Mr. Talk. That's right, Colin Schick and Brandon French. Brandon's going to be running his mouth, and Colin Schick with the twoies. Can they make a run as the 15 seed? We shall see, but they are going to be fun to watch. So that's men's doubles. The Johns brothers are the team to beat. We'll see if anybody can get after them. Those are the draws. Now let's look at the top overall storylines. And we'll start 
with the great eight. If Federico Staxrud can make an eighth consecutive final, that is just preposterous in singles. Will he do it? We'll find out. We'll keep an eye on that on Thursday. California dreaming. Yeah, it started to get a little hotter down in Houston. Now those cool breezes in California, the ball will play a little faster than it did, certainly on the weekend in Houston. And it's our third of four consecutive tournaments in the month of April. Merry-go-round. Yes, the first merry-go-round refers to all those wild new partnerships I talked to. We're going to be keeping an eye on that all week long. I can't wait to see. Some are going to mesh beautifully and others are going to be a train wreck. And either way, it's going to be fun to watch. Merry-go, which round? I'm talking about Mary Brasha and her sister Maggie. Mary has a big opportunity. Second chance with that one by her name in singles and playing with her sister in the backyard at Los Cab. Is this the week these two just catch fire and go all the way to Championship Sunday? And finally, this is an open with the traditional draw. What does that mean? We will play singles on Thursday, mixed doubles on Friday, men's and women's doubles on Saturday, and then we will crown the champions on Sunday. Can't wait to see which players and teams make it all the way there. Coverage is in the usual places. Tennis Channel, Prime Video, and Pickleball TV starts Thursday, April 18th at 11 a.m. Pacific, and that's the time we'll start each day. This is going to be an awesome tournament. Thanks so much for watching this show and all the action on the Carvana PPA Tour. I'm Dave Fleming. Peace.